Today, I'll be reviewing my 29 inch Nimbus Oracle Unicycle from Unicycle.com. I've had this for about four years now and have a pretty good idea on how it performs as a unicycle. I'll be ranking this unicycle in five different categories, where it can have a maximum score of five in each category. A score of one is terrible, a score of two is bad, three is average, a four is good, and a five is great. These categories will then be totaled for a score out of 25. My five categories are quality, is the unicycle durable, are the parts reliable, and how well do they last over time? Comfort, how does this unicycle ride, and can it be ridden comfortably for a long period of time? Purpose. Can it be used as advertised? Flexibility. This category is the exact opposite of purpose. Can it be used to do other things than what it was advertised to do? And finally, upgradability. Is it cheap and or easy to upgrade? First off is quality. This is a very durable unicycle. I'm consistently crashing this thing, riding over roots, and just throwing it around. That's the best part about unicycles. There's just not a lot of parts to them. With the unicycle, there's no smashed derailleurs, dropping chains, cluttered handlebars, or messed up shifting. This is made of some really durable quality parts, and the only thing I've broken is the seat, but it was very easy to replace. In the durability category, I'll give this a 4. Next is comfort. I recently upgraded my seat, but I'll talk about how it felt with all the stock parts on. Starting with the seat, all I can say is terrible. This seat hurts so bad. I understand if a seat might start to bother me and hurt a little bit after 4 or 5 miles. But right when I sit down, immediate pain. I've even tried wearing two chamois at once. This seat is terrible. Enough about the seat though. How does everything else feel? The crank arms feel really good. They're 150 millimeters, which make it really fast and easy to ride. The stock pedals are okay. They're better than the normal plastic pedals that come on lower end to mid range bikes. They are made of plastic though, but they do have metal studs lining each side, which can make for some really good grip, but I have upgraded to better pedals. Overall in the comfort category, I would say everything is great aside from the seat. I've taken this unicycle out for some really long rides and it feels good. On comfort, I'll rank it a 3 out of 5. Moving on to purpose. Does this unicycle do what it was advertised to do? Unicycle.com says, These machines are incredibly tough and built to conquer rugged heights. Whether it's your local trail or cross-country adventures, they'll take you there and back with a big smile on your face. Let's break this up. These are incredibly tough. If you were paying attention a few seconds ago, then you know I agree with that statement. It's built to conquer rugged heights. I'm not sure about rugged heights. I'm not experienced enough with rugged heights living in Des Moines, but I'll give this a try. This thing can climb some pretty steep hills. It's a struggle, but I feel like I'm frequently in situations where I try and climb steep short rooty climbs and this thing makes it up. I guess I would count a steep short rooty climb as a rugged height. With a Shimano hydraulic disc brakes and 180 millimeter rotor it's really easy to make it down the short and steepest of descents and the 2.4 inch max air dent tires really help out. Finally they say I can go out and back with a big smile on my face. Going out sure I usually come back with a look of pain on my face though you know the seat. But behind the pain is an internal smile. This thing is a lot of fun and it can make it through almost anything. The only hard part about riding this particular unicycle is technical sections, but it's not advertised to do that. So for purpose, I'll rank it a 5 out of 5. Next is flexibility. Now, I just mentioned something about riding technical sections. This unicycle could not do that at all. With the big 29 inch wheel, it's really hard to maneuver. It's very possible and can be done by the most competent unicyclist but I would recommend getting another unicycle with a smaller wheel, or just buying a smaller wheel to swap back and forth with a 29er. If we move in the opposite direction, this unicycle could be a really good cross country and road unicycle. This thing has no issue going over roots of any size, climbs of any size, and small rocks. This unicycle can also fly. It'd make a really good racing unicycle, or just one to ride on the pavement. On flexibility, I'll give this a 2, but don't mistake this for a bad thing. For people who want multiple unicycles, or just want to ride XC, this is perfect. The large wheel just makes it hard for technical sections. And the last category is upgradability. 
There's not a lot to unicycles already, so you can only upgrade them so many times. But I've upgraded this quite a bit. Let's talk about the seat first. You all know how much I hate the stock seat, but I recently upgraded to this new air seat by Nimbus. It looks the same as the old one, but the edges aren't as sharp and they don't dig into my bum as much. The middle of it isn't as hard either. Another upgrade are my pedals. For the longest time, I just ran the plastic stock pedals. But once I switched to clipless pedals on my bike, I put these pedals on my unicycle. These pedals are just a generic Amazon brand, and as long as my feet stick, I'm not picky about platform pedals. Finally, the biggest upgrade is my hydraulic disc brake. I ordered this unicycle with the disc brake separately. It saved me about $50. So, it's the unicycle. It's super easy to take apart and put back together, and you can upgrade pretty much every part if you'd like. So I have no choice but to give this unicycle a 5 out of 5 on upgradability. The total score for the Nimbus is a 19 out of 25. That might not sound good, but it's really not bad. I've had two categories that were 5 out of 5, and the killer was just the flexibility. But like I said, it really wasn't a killer. You just might need to make a few adjustments or buy more unicycles. Overall, I love my Nimbus Oracle. I've had it for about 4 years now, and it's done everything I wanted it to do. If you live in a rockier area, I would definitely recommend getting a unicycle with a smaller wheel. But if you want to go fast and live somewhere without a lot of big rocks, this would be perfect. Thanks for watching.